Hello, it's Helen Paris here with another Wednesday practice tip. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Usually I keep my videos very short and sweet, but today's is going to be quite a bit longer. Last week, I talked about processing time. Now today, I'm going to actually show you what practicing with some processing time actually looks like. I have found in my students, most of them don't take quite enough time to truly process the information. You're going to see me practicing in real time. And yeah, I'm actually going to be practicing something that I'm learning. Don't expect it to be pretty because it won't. Practice is not supposed to sound pretty. Here goes nothing. I'm actually sight reading this part of the piece. It's an accompaniment that I'm learning for a trombone student for one of their major exams. That was the first playthrough that I've done. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to figure out exactly what the problem is. And I'm experimenting with my body to see if the problem is in the amount of effort that I'm putting into that shift of the hand. So you'll notice how much time I'm actually spending in between each repeat. I'm taking the time to notice how it feels in my body. And to assess whether it sounds how I want it to sound. Okay, so I got that. So I'm just gonna make sure that I can lock it in. And you notice I'm taking that time to make sure that it's secure. And breaking everything down into really short segments. gives my brain only a small amount of information to process at a time. Sometimes having a little wiggle is useful. Now clearly there's a problem in the same area that I just fixed before. My body isn't really quite aware of exactly what it has to do yet because I'm just learning this piece for the first time. You can see I'm experimenting with different fingering. And this is why musicians always need a trusty pencil. You'll notice now once that pencil mark has been put in with the correct fingering or the fingering that works much better for the situation, the problem has been solved. So 
So I know that the problem's been solved now. So it's a matter of making sure that my brain can process that little piece of information. So you would have noticed that I was shaking my hand out there. That's because I realised that I wasn't giving myself processing time. I was repeating and repeating and I had to stop myself from getting into that cycle. At this point, I'm imagining what I want it to sound like. thinking about the phrasing, I'm thinking about the tone that I want to make. And you can hear that now it's starting to sound a lot more musical than how it did at the beginning of the session. don't realise quite how much time you actually need in between repetitions to really get a sense of exactly how it needs to feel in your body until you see somebody do it. I hope that my demonstration helps you to better understand what I mean about processing time and to then incorporate that into your own practising. Happy practising!